Hi, cozy friends. Hello, hello. Cheers. Bloop. I've been so bad at cheersing lately. <laughs> I've been so bad. But cheers, my lovely people, my lovely starter people. I won't be sappy this week, okay? It was enough sap last week. Let's just get started. It's sitting right in front of me, so I gotta share with y'all. I got the cutest stickers and skins from Sticky Tech, which is the skin company that I work with often. Look how freaking cute. They're AirPods skins and then a switch skin. It's like brown cow print. That's so cute. I'm excited to get a little, a little moo moo cow aesthetic going on with all my stuff. My AirPods case is like a little chocolate milk carton. So it's perfect. They sent these cute little stickers too. The little ghosty and this little mushroom. Stay spooky. Pumpkin, candles, fuzzy socks, hot chocolate. <laughs> Aren't these so cute? I don't know if they bought they buy these and just put them in the packages or if they make them. I think they make them. I passed the vibe check. I want them to have an I understood the assignment sticker because they truly understood the assignment with, with this cow print. And then they sent me a boba straw. They're so sweet to me. Anyways, use my code. I forget what percentage off it is. 10, 15, I don't know. It's in my bio. It's in, it's in the description somewhere. I don't know. What are we doing here today? Let's focus. Oh my god, focus. Come on, girl. Get it together. All right, so Willie's birthday is very important. And then we have nothing else. I sense that a new viewer has joined us. Uh, spirits are somewhat annoyed. Y'all, is it a spring thing? What is it? Why do they hate me always, all the time? Got a little battery pack because it was raining last time. All right, we have 22,000. We got a rabbit. We got more pigs. I don't know what else we got to do. We need the house upgrade. Hi, little babies. Hi. Oh, and I got the blue chicken I forgot about. <gasps> Our first truffle! <gasps> Our first truffle! Oh my gosh. We're gonna be rich. We're gonna be so rich. Come here, little chicken. Thank you. It's Tuesday. I have no traveling cart duties. I feel like we've gotten every animal we can get right now. Where are you going? Where are you going, miss? Little miss, you were standing right there. You left at eight o'clock? Her hours don't make any sense. Not a lick of sense. Not a lick. No one wants help. No one wants, no one's even around. Where is everyone? Oh, there's the mayor. Rainbow trout and ocean fish. I could do the ocean fish one. Oh, 20 ocean fish, we could do that today. I wonder what the reward is. It better be shmoney. No. <gasps> Cutscene! I've never had this one, I don't think. Oh, hi. Um, it's Ken, right? I'm just enjoying this great weather, Ken. Hmm. Hey, go long! Aww! <laughs> Why did it make a squishing noise? Yeah, nice try. Now, Keith. I'm gonna be the first professional grid ball player from Stardew Valley, there's no doubt in my mind. I already led my school's team to the regional- What school? What school? Regional playoffs. Now I'm just training and getting stronger so I can claim my spot on the roster of the Zuzu City Tunnelers. You just wait. I believe. Oh, didn't even mean to click it. I just was clicking. Thanks, Ken. I'll remember that. He stepped a little closer. Well, what was that about? What were you trying to cite? What were you trying to do? I know people like Alex because he's a himbo, right? But he's not even like a himbo that has like a quirk or like a identifiable humor. He's just a regular old jock himbo. That just doesn't appeal to me. Something about jock himbo specifically, it's like you like sports and you like sports so much that you're going to spend all day every day doing that, training for that. Okay. And that's what you want for your life. Okay. Okay. As a person, fine. Oh! But as a romantic interest... I'll pass. I just feel like there's not a lot of depth there. Maybe that's a personal bias, you know? I'll I'll be the first to uh, admit it. Maybe that's personal bias. Maybe I think jocks are dumb. If y'all have ever read the uh, David Foster Wallace essay about people in sports, he's an asshole, but it's similar. It's a little bit similar to how I feel. Oh my god, they keep giving me these hard-ass fish. I'm just trying to catch, catch any fish right now. Any 20 fish. Mm-mm! Stop giving me these hard ass fish! Rude! I didn't want that at all. Whenever I want to get the rare fish, I don't get them. And then when I'm just trying to catch 20 plain old goddamn fish, 
Excuse me, I'm feisty today. I can't help it. This game just throws me for a loop sometimes. Just give me an easy fish, thank you. And it said the spirits were annoyed today. Uh, I can sell them, okay. I only caught four? Shut up, shut up. Dumb fish, dumb fish. Ugh, dumb fish. This is great though, because it's getting me the money I need and it's getting me money for finishing this task, right? <laughs> the little tuna's mouth always makes me crack up. I think we could do 10 today. Two more, we got it, we got it, babes. All right, we did 10. I said we would never do those board task items. We've done two so far and I think that's fun. Hi, Leah. It is beautiful. Do I have anything you want? I think you like cheese. Yeah, because didn't I give her cheese for Christmas? I'm tutoring Vincent and Jazz today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. Yeah. The girlies left their class. All right, let me go tend to my artisan goods. Okay. Our first truffle oil. <gasps> Our first ancient fruit. Oh, that's the first ancient fruit that we've grown ourselves. I'm going to put one in here. Yay. Oh, they were unhappy. Oh, three? Three? And they were unhappy today. I think we got to get rid of probably corn. Let's get rid of corn. Oh. Sheila just like sneezed or something. We're slowly spreading our rich crops. The corn can go. You know what I mean? Who gives a crap about corn? A good first day. We got half of that challenge done. So we planted some ancient seeds. It was good. Ooh, 6,000. 6,000, you say? We're getting up there. We're getting close. Oh, I should. Oh, no. I didn't do the hardwood. That's what I said I was supposed to be doing. Oh, and it's Willie's birthday. Okay. Willie likes what? Diamonds, was it? We'll give him a diamond. Diamonds. I don't mean rhinestones. It's diamonds. Sheila's been in a bitey mood lately and don't understand why. Do y'all's animals like go through stages and phases? Because Sheila goes through so many. It feels like having a child. You know, like, ooh, terrible twos or whatever. He just goes through phases. Right now, he wants to bite me all the time again when he wasn't doing it for so long. Like when he's playing, he wants to bite. Stop it. As he starts biting some plastic. All right. We're going to get up to 50K in no time. It's the hardwood that I should have been doing. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Some people in my Discord, we are doing a PowerPoint night where you just like have a topic and then you present the PowerPoint. If you're in that group, skip over this part. Do not spoil it for yourself because this is going to be my, maybe, maybe. I haven't fully decided yet, but I think it's going to be my topic. So the topic is how the scene and Little Woman, the one, the most recent one by Greta, the scene where Lori is confessing his love. And she goes, what are we going to run away and live on a pirate ship together? And he just looks at her like, it's how that little scene is the best, best scene in movie Hollywood history and the best piece of acting. In my humble opinion, I know there's a lot of stuff that goes into this. If you don't like Timothy Chalamet, you probably won't agree. I love Timothy Chalamet, even without that. I think it's such good acting and such good scripting. And even it was probably like improvised. I'm sure Greta was like, don't say anything. Just give her a look. And then he took that and was like, I know exactly what look to give. There's so much emotion and and things unsaid and and just raw emotion and like a sense of like i know you you know me we know each other so well that i don't even have to say anything i just have to i have to not say anything and you'll understand what i'm saying by not saying anything and then just like pure love and also like i'm scared to actually say what i feel because it's gonna change everything because we have this specific relationship and it's gonna change everything if i admit to how i actually feel so i'm just gonna let you come to the conclusion by me not saying anything it's all so good it's just perfection um yeah that's what my presentation is gonna be on i'm gonna break down every every single frame 
of the scene and just why and the context and how nothing else compares. You know what, now that I think about it, I might like rank, I might rank scenes where nothing's said and that's the point, you know? Like the best lack of dialogue scenes in a romance movie. If you have any good ones, let me know. Cause the only one, other one I can think of is, again, Timothy Chalamet, he's just a fantastic actor. It's like, he just like gets emotion and gets like what a character would be feeling in that moment, but not saying, but still portray what they're feeling. Ugh, it's so great. But the only other one I could think of is the scene in Call Me By Your Name when he, when the, the guy who works at the house brings him the fish and he looks at the fish and does like a little silly face. He looks at Oliver to see if he was watching him do the silly face to the fish. And it's no way, no, no, I'm literally as far as can possibly be. I'm as far as you can be. Is this the first train I'm not going to? Yeah, it is. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna do it. I refuse. I'm standing up to the train this time, y'all. I'm standing up to it. But he looks at Oliver to see if Oliver saw him doing the face to the fish. And I don't even think he- I don't think he did. I don't think he was paying attention. But it's just the fact that he, like, did this silly little thing with the hopes of, like, evoking some kind of, like, oh, what a charming kid. Or, like, oh my god, he's, like, so funny or whatever. And he looks over to see- to, like, confirm if that was what was happening. And it wasn't, or it, I, it doesn't even matter if it was or wasn't, but it's so good. It says so much, and it, like, it, it says a lot about his, like, age in the story compared to Oliver. And it says a lot about just, like, love and, like, infatuation and, like, what it makes you do and how it makes you, like, view yourself from an outside perspective so often because you just want to, like, be the most charming and interesting and funny best version of yourself and you want the other people you want the other person to like see those best bits oh it's so good it's so good he says nothing he says nothing oh my god elliot yeah it's as if your essence is infused into the fruit are you okay sir sir please please go write a poem go write a haiku i don't want to hear it Ugh. let me give you some goddamn stupid wine. Take my cheap wine, too. Oh, these are all good wines. Oh, hell no. I'm not giving him that. I'll give him a sweet pea, maybe? You like a sweet pea? Oh. I don't know. I couldn't tell. Anyway, so I think I'll do... Maybe I'll talk about both of those, but if y'all have any other either Timothy Chalamet or just movie moments where nothing was said nothing is said and yet so much was said let me know i also want to know not just nothing was said but everything was said but like what is your favorite movie moment what is the movie moment you're like this is it this is the peak of directing of acting of everything this is it willie's birthday no no oh no I'm such an idiot. Do I restart the day? Oh, it was such a long day. Dang it. That was such an easy one. I just need like a device that turns back time a little bit in this game. Just a little bit, you know? <gasps> Cork bobber! Oh, I'm so excited! Yay! Okay, that just made up for being dumb about Willy. Yay! 2000? Holy shit! Hold on a damn second. Let's let's evaluate this. Wow, the starfruit wine is way more than the ancient fruit wine. The ancient fruits regrow, and the starfruits, I believe, do not. So that was the difference there. Okay, Clint's. I'm giving this to Willie now, just because. Oh, truffle oil. Oh, starfruit. Oh my god, I am slacking on all fronts. So many fronts. Oh, I think I left poo somewhere dumb again. Or I didn't get poo. Both are always options. Okay, so bringing Mayor Lewis truffle oil. It's the, the hardwood that's so far, it takes up so much time out of the day. I wish this god dang farm of mine just populated the stumps again. Those were nice. Okay, so we need like 40 something now, which we can get in three or four days. Huh, <sighs> not helpful. 
Wait, limestone! We haven't had limestone! Come on, give us a reward. We've been so good. Daddy Gunther, please. <laughs> can I get into Mary Lewis's house? <gasps> I can. After marriage, you may file for divorce here? It looks like the mayor used this to keep track of finances. Whoa. Lost and found, you can collect incomplete deliveries from- Oh. This is all very interesting, but where is he? Could he be at the saloon? I don't think so. Oh, he is. Why are you here? Oh, he's being a gossip. I see. Okay, well, here's some truffle oil. Very slick. What are you using it for? Sebastian just standing on the dock ter just terrified me. Where the hell's my diamond? I put my diamond away. I can't do anything right today. Red snapper! Wait, is that the one we need, red snapper? That means we just need a tiger trout. We only need two more. We can do that. We can do that. Yay! I did it! 1500! Ooh wee! Sam! Hi, Sam! <gasps> You really don't get it, huh? You don't get what? Dad was telling me about our national enemy, the Godoro Empire. They sound like a ruthless bunch. Oh, what did I give him? What did I give him? Oh no, I actually gave him. What did I give him? Oh no, I hope it wasn't something valuable. Oh, I think it was just a fish. Don't forget to stole your items like me. Yay! Okay, so we just need the tiger trout. Okay, so it's not until after the next upgrade that you can do the cellar under the house, which is a hundred thousand. Oh, I need the the I need the truffle for the bundle as well. Oh, fall and winter. Okay, the next playthrough and the playthrough after that is when we can get the gosh dang tiger trout. And then the rest are pretty easy too. It's the truffle, pomegranate, rabbit's foot. So I got a rabbit, so that should be on its way. Pomegranate, rabbit's foot, apple. All of those are incoming. Truffle, that's incoming like tomorrow. Make your trap the only thing I have to like really fish for. Literally. I was didn't even mean that literally. I will literally have to fish for. Our community center is like a uh, shoe in, a easy done. Easy dunsy. Okay, sleep time poo. Good night poo. 11,000. We keep raking in the money. I do have traveling cart business today. I don't know what I was talking about. Thanks for your help with the fish. Nature is usually good at keeping things balanced, but sometimes artificial factors can cause an imbalance. I've enclosed a blueprint from a science magazine that you might find interesting. Farm computer? What is that? Scans the farm and displays useful information. Dwarf gadget, battery pack, and refined quartz. Do we have an extra dwarf gadget? I don't think we do. No, we don't. I want a dwarf gadget. What useful information would it tell us? I'm so curious. I need to know. Wood, hardwood, slime. I'm saving my hardwood right now. I'm saving my hardwood at the moment. Ever heard of like investing in your future much? Oh, it's raining again today, so we can't get the pig's truffle for the community center. Oh, what do they need now? A nautilus shell. Pufferfish! Do y'all ever have those tasks that just stay with you forever and you never do it just because you have like a mental block in it, but it's so easy to do. Like it's such an easy errand to run or whatever it is and you just don't do it. That was me. I had a leak in my tire and like the thing is it was making a, a bigger inconvenience for me than just like going to get it fixed was because I had to keep a tire inflator in my car and blow it up once a week because my tire would lose air. April or May is when my, my tire started to do this. I just kept filling it up. I was like, you know what? It's fine. Getting a new tire is expensive. And then someone was like, you can patch it. I was like, you can patch it? They're like, you can patch it. I didn't patch it. There was a place right next to my house. There's two places right next to my house, actually. <gasps> I've got this old amulet to sell, but I don't think you're ready for it. What? You have to be 10 hearts with somebody? I didn't know you had to be 10 hearts with somebody. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'll get the amulet from you later. Finishing my train of thought because I didn't have anything to do at work. And I was like, okay, I gotta fill my time. I gotta be productive. So I finally did it today. But I don't know if I said this already, but I have no plans to marry Harvey yet. 
I would like to date everybody that I can. I won't get to 10 hearts with everybody, but I will date as many people as I can. Thank you, that's so nice. Here's your puffer fish. Yay! Just to see all the all the heart challenges and stuff, you know? So, speaking of that, I should go give Shane a, a bouquet. I know, I know. I've seen all of his heart things, though. I might do 10 hearts with everybody else and not do Shane so that everybody doesn't turn on me and hate me. So my chat, when I was streaming this last weekend, told me if you date everybody and get to 10 hearts with everybody who's dateable, they'll all turn on you unless you have a rabbit's foot in your pocket. I did not know this. I don't want to keep a rabbit's foot in my pocket. Because I've seen all of Shane's already, I don't really care about it. I don't really like Shane. I've, I've seen it. I get it. So I won't do him. I'll do everybody else. If I'm convinced by somebody, if somebody wins my heart over, I'll marry them instead of Harvey because I've already married Harvey and I know what that's like. But if not, I'm marrying Harvey. I'm going to marry that boy. And you all can't stop me. Okay, where should I put this plant? I think I'm gonna put it here. This is kind of a barren little area over here. I went to the traveling cart. I did the hardwood. I gave Demetrius the pufferfish. I don't have a star fruit to give him yet. Dang, Chiwa. Yeah, I know I've said this before, but I need I need y'all to know this. Because he's terrorizing me. Okay, alert the authorities. Whenever he finds out he's not supposed to be somewhere because I take him off, he makes it his life's mission to do that same exact thing over and over. I don't know if it's because he likes me taking him off of the thing. I don't know if he just likes the attention. I don't know if he just wants to be a menace. I don't know. Oh, an earth crystal. Sometime today. Pammy. He's usually there pretty late. I think we can do that. Oh, shoot. I don't have any. I think I used them all on bee houses or mayo machines or something. Sorry, Pammy. Can't do. No can do. I don't know why I'm fishing, y'all. I've been possessed. This body, this mind is not of me. I don't know mm -hmm. what to tell y'all. We caught one. I'm happy with that. Ooh, go to sleep, baby. You've had a long day. And so have I. So have we. Everybody, pat yourselves on the back for a, a week well done. A week of hard work, self-care, self-love, and restoration. All right, everybody. This was a lovely, lovely time. I will see you next week. I love you. Stay cozy. Have a, have a restful Sunday. All right. Have a little rest. Bye.